in this particular lecture let's go ahead and let's take a bank account simulator example in order to understand the use reducer hook in a much more better way so let's suppose here we actually want to go ahead and have an input field uh, which allows us to deposit a certain amount of money inside a bank account and let's say we have two buttons here one is to deposit the money and the other one is going to be for withdrawing the amount of money which we specify here so let's go ahead and let's start implementing this so the very first thing which we will do here is that we'll actually go ahead and make use of a reducer to keep track of the account balance so in order to create a reducer i would say const state and then after the state we have the dispatch for the reducer this is going to be use reducer and the use reducer is going to have the reducer function as the first argument and the next argument is going to be the value of the state or the initial value of state so here as we want to maintain a bank account here we'll actually create an object which would say balance and the initial balance is going to be zero so this is what your reducer looks like which keeps track of your balance now let's go ahead and let's make this app a return a div and in here let me just return the balance so in order to return the balance here i would say state dot balance so after doing this we also need to go ahead and define this reducer function as well so here i would say function reducer and the reducer is going to accept the state as well as the action so once we have the reducer function here as you can see we have a zero displayed up over here as a balance now we want to take this particular balance and we kind of want to go ahead and have an input field which actually allows us to deposit or withdraw from the balance which we have so therefore i'll create an input field here so the input type is going to be text and the value here is going to be the amount which the user wants to enter now in order to save that particular amount here you actually could go ahead and create another reducer or you could also create that amount over here as well but to keep things simple i'll make use of the use state hook to save that particular amount value so here i'll create a state so const let's call this thing as amount and the set amount is the method which changes that amount and we'll use the use state hook for this so let's say the initial value of this amount is zero let's assign that value here so the value is going to be amount so as you can see that value up over here is zero now if we want to change this value on typing i have to say on change is going to be e so in the callback we have e and then we want to use the set amount function and set the value to e dot target dot value so pretty basic stuff till now and now if i go ahead and if i change this to something uh, this value is now being changed so now once this happens now let's add the deposit and withdraw buttons here so when we click on the deposit button this amount should be added up to our main balance here so let me create that button up over here real quick so this is going to be button let's call it deposit and when i click this button i actually want to go ahead and deposit an amount so here i would say on click i want to go ahead and dispatch an object here so in order to dispatch an object i'll have a callback function and then dispatch an action in terms of an object so in this action object you want to set the type of action as let's say add which is basically to add the amount and then you could also specify the payload here so the payload is going to be nothing but whatever value which is present in this input field right now so the value present in this input field is going to be in form of a text or a string so we need to convert it into a number so i would say number and then pass in this amount value here all right so now when i click this button this action is going to be dispatched along with this action object so now we need to go ahead and handle this dispatch inside our reducer function which is right here so in order to handle that here i would say if action dot type so the action type here is add so if the action dot type is add in that particular case i want to go ahead and return a new value of state so what we do here is that the current value of the state inside the reducer is this so therefore i would return and here first of all i would go ahead and take whatever value of state which i have and spread it into this object so dot 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 state and then simply go ahead and update the balance here so the balance is going to be nothing but the current value of balance so the current value of balance is state dot balance plus 
I want to go ahead and add the action.payload value, which is this value right here. So here I would say action.payload and that's it. So now what happens is when we click on this button, it will take the value which we have inside this input field and it will add it up over here. So if I click on deposit, as you can see, the zero turned to 12. If I click on deposit one more time, it turned to 24, so on and so forth. That means the deposit functionality is working absolutely fine. Now, similar to this, let's also create another button here called as withdraw, which withdraws from the main balance, which we have. So button with draw. And here the on click of this one is going to be nothing but a dispatch an action object. And here the type of action object which we want to dispatch is going to be, let's say, sub as we want to subtract money uh, when we want to withdraw the money. And then the payload here is going to be number and just specify the amount which we actually have in the input field. So then we also need to go ahead and handle this particular action as well inside our reducer function. So here we check if the action dot type, if this is equal equal to sub, that basically means we want to return a new object. So I'll again, return new object. So first of all, we spread out the existing state object here. So that's going to be dot 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 state. And then just update the balance to the existing value of balance, which is state dot balance. And this time we want to subtract the action dot payload from it. So once we do that, hopefully this would work. So when I click on withdraw, as you can see, that amount is being withdrawn from here. Let me change it to 10 here. And as you can see, the amount here is now being withdrawn by 10. And if you click on deposit, the amount is going to be deposited here. So this was a simple bank account example. And the main purpose of taking this example was just to reinforce the concept of using a reducer. So once you remember this simple example, you don't have to go ahead and recall how to create a reducer or how to work with it. So just try to understand this example. And once you do so, you'll have a fundamental understanding of how a reducer works. So that's it for this lecture. And from the next lecture onwards, we'll start learning about a React router. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.